I've become very wary of anybody with who comes with a plan to save the world. <laughs> you know, so much harm has been done in the name of good, mm. in the name of saving the world, uh, because there's a kind of a fundamentalism there. If if you're on a crusade, then anything that helps your cause and helps you have the power to uh, administer your solution is good. So in the name of the greater good, people become power hungry and they replicate all of the structures that they're trying to change. We see this in NGOs, for example, in philanthropy. Um, and, and, and so, and the other thing you were saying, like um, talking, speaking about Einstein's maxim, you know, that we can't solve our problems from the same level of consciousness that created them. We're often very blind to what our assumptions are. We, we think that, that it's just reality, but it's actually a belief system. But if we assume that it's just reality, we end up replicating it in our, through our actions. So for example, one of the deep assumptions of the myth of modernity, the story of separation, is that the way to create change in the world is to exert force, to make something change. How do we make a change happen? How do I force somebody to change? How do I pressure corporations to change? Or how do I convince somebody that they're wrong? How do I win a debate? Like th there's this oppositional mindset that comes from really Newtonian physics. Nothing changes unless you exert a force on it. Otherwise, the pendulum just keeps swinging forever. But if there's some air resistance, okay, then it will slow down. So there's a force against it. That way of, that, that oppositional way of relating to the world and to each other is based on a metaphysical assumption. And it's not actually true. Quantum mechanics has shown us that it's not true. When we understand and and to deprogram from that actually takes time that's the space between stories that you referenced earlier to deprogram from that way of thinking you have to tra tra traverse a territory of bewilderment of everything i thought i knew was wrong who i thought i was i am not really and i don't know what's on the other side of it yet on some level you know that there's something on the other side of it. Some part of you understands that this descent into darkness has a purpose. And in those moments, it's, it, 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 we need allies, actually, to remind us of what we know. When we go through that process, then we're able to act from a different place, from a different consciousness. And a key um, tenet of that state is the understanding that we are not the only intelligence in the world, that things happen and not just randomly, that are expressions of a larger intelligence and that our power to enact change doesn't depend on how accurately uh, and powerfully we can exert a force and how big an audience we have on our uh, podcast, mm -hmm. you know, and how big an audience our writing reaches and all that. Um, there are other very mysterious principles of change at work. And that this inconceivable orchestrating intelligence will deploy each of us in the right place at the right moment with the right gifts and with the right instructions to do what needs to be done. And the instructions come through our emotions, not through our calculations.